Okay, so here is my setup for this predator prey simulation lab, and I have it already pre-set up um, where I have Cheerios representing my mice, and then this is my spoon that will represent my coyote. I also, just to, for um, the, the sake of the speed of each um, different trial in this every generation, I have multiple piles of 10 um, Cheerios. That way I can more quickly set up my, my uh, habitat here. So this tray here is representing my habitat. And let me just review with you the rules as it says here. Surviving mice of each year always double in number. There must be at least 10 mice at the beginning of the year. There must be at least one coyote at the beginning of each year by immigration if necessary. And what that means is if the coyote dies, just a new one starts over. But you're always just using one spoon. Um, each coyote must catch at least four mice to survive. And each coyote must have at least six mice, eat six mice to reproduce. Um, and that's one per, so if you're going through with multiple ones, it's not an average of six, it's six. All right, so I've already got started. I've placed 20 mice in the field, and I'm going to do one pass through for the first generation. So I'm starting off with one coyote. So if I look here, year one, I have 20 mice and one coyote. All right, so now I'm gonna go through with my coyote and make a pass. Now I'm allowed to go through once and I'm allowed to change directions one time. So I've picked up four mice. So I'm gonna keep those off to the side. So that's what that one caught. This one survives. So now at the end of this generation, there was 20 here there's 16 left. So those 16 are now going to double. So I'm going to add 16 more. So I'm going to add these 10 plus these four and two more. So now I have 32 mice to start the next generation and I still have one coyote. Because again, I need six mice in order for that coyote to reproduce. So the coyote survived. Now again, if the, I only got three for some reason and the coyote died, then the coyote can just um, use to start over again. Okay, so now I'm going to make a pass again. Okay, I still just got four. So... I had 32 minus four is 28. So now my number of mice double. So now I should have 56. Okay, so I'm gonna add these four back. So I had 32 there. Then this was eight, so that's 40. And then here's 50. And now here's six more. And there's 56, so I'm going to spread them around. Okay, so now I have 56 mice and still just one coyote. So, I'm going to take my spoon and go through. And this time, I got one, two, three, four, five mice. So I did not reproduce, but let's just say for the sake of argument, I did get that sixth one that I knocked off. Um, so let's say now I've reproduced. So now I'm going to have two coyotes. All right. So I had 56. Now I have 50. So now I have a hundred mice. So I'm going to add all the remaining Cheerios on here. So you can see the mice population exploded with only one predator ever hunting them. So now I have a hundred mice but two predators. So now 
to do two predators, I'm going to go through twice. So this guy is going to go through once. And he got one, two, three, four, five, six. So he reproduces. So I'm down, I'm up. And then I get one more scoop to go through for my second predator. Oh, he did really well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he reproduced just once, even though he got ten. You have to get six to reproduce. So he reproduced once, he reproduced once. Now I have four coyotes. So I've eaten a total of 10 plus six mice, 16. So, but the one rule on this is the mice population is capped at 100. So if I have to, I'm not going to add more. Than that, so I'm just going to add all these mice back. What we're saying is some sort of external factor is going to keep the mice population down. Besides that population, like the size of this island that they all live on. Okay, so I'm back to 100 mice, but now I have four coyotes. Okay, so now I get to take four swipes through. So here's first one. And he caught one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second guy. He caught one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third one. And you can see how you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As the population of the mice got bigger, now it's easier to hunt. He got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now all four of these guys reproduced. So now I'm going to have eight coyotes. But for my mice, this mice is like hiding underneath. So I had eight plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus 16. That's seven. Oh, seven, 15. So, no. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So, I still have more than 50 on the board. So, it's just going to go back to 100. But this time, I'm going to have 8 passes through. So, I'll put all these back on here. Spread them all out. This guy's trying to hide and escape the wrath of the, the spoon. Okay, so again, I still have a hundred mice, but I have eight coyotes now. Okay, so first pass through with the spoon. Second pass through. Third pass through. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, so these coyotes have all reproduced. Now it's probably going to be easier now for me to count how many of these are left. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32. So I have 32. So I'm going to add 32 more. Make sure they all have six. Yeah. Yeah, they all have six. Okay, so add that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, 
four, five, six, that's another 10, there's 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 30, and then two more. Okay, so now I have 64 mice, but I have 16 coyotes. What's going to happen now? So, first coyote. And let me move these extra ones off to the side. First coyote. He got five. So he did not reproduce. Second coyote. He definitely reproduced. He got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he reproduced. This guy got six. So third. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He reproduced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. So I have one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six coyotes. I have ten more to still hunt. Five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have gone. The eighth one, he reproduced. Ninth one survived. Tenth one survived. Eleventh one died. Twelfth one died. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteenth died. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 coyotes. But now we're down to 10 mice. Okay, so obviously this isn't going to work out very well for either the mice or the coyotes. So we go. One dead coyote. Let me move all these off to the side. One dead coyote. Two dead coyotes. Three dead coyotes. Four dead coyotes. Five dead coyotes. And then all the rest died. So, reproduce. The mice go down to 10, the coyotes go back down to 1. So extreme starvation in the coyote population. So now I just have one coyote again. Okay, I'll still have one coyote, but now I have Eight left over, so I still have so mice now have survived. So I go eight. So now I'm gonna have sixteen. So sixteen coyote, sixteen mice, still one coyote. So. One dead coyote, but out of 16, I had 14 mice, so now I'm going to have 28. Nine. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, twenty-one, twenty-two. Sorry. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Everyone say happy Mother's Day, Mr. Mrs. Bradley. 
Thank you for helping Mr. Bradley record this. All right, so we have 28 mice now, still one coyote. All right, so one pass through. I got four, so he still just survived, but now I have 24, so I'm gonna have now 48 mice. So I'm gonna put these back and I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. So now I have forty-eight mice. Still one coyote. And hopefully now it will be a little bit easier for this one coyote to hunt. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Still did not reproduce. It's taken a while for these coyotes to reestablish themselves. Meanwhile, the mice are starting to reproduce at cra like crazy. Um, I've gotten five to so 43, so it's 96. So basically all the rest of these except for one is going to go in here. So, 96 mice, still one coyote. All right, hopefully now this one coyote can reproduce. And yes, he will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, two, and then obviously all the mice will reproduce and they're going to go to their limit of 100. And now we have 102. So, now these two are going to hunt. And he reproduces. he reproduces. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means we'll have four and we would still end up with a hundred mice. All right. One thing to note, since we went up to a maximum of 16 coyotes, so for some people simulation, it might go up to 16. Since we did that, what we'll have to do is we're going to change our scale over on this side i did this for you to to help you but because we had to go up to 16 i'm going to change the scale up to go up by twos so this will be two four and if you download this you can just erase it or, or delete it and then change the numbers yourself So this is up to 20. So when you graph this, what you're going to do is you're going to graph the mice population based on this side and then the coyote on this side. But we're going to do the graph on the next class, on class number two. So this is all we wanted to complete by the end of this class. All right. Thank you.